don't look like you're flying. Here, turn this way. So what we are going to be doing today in the garden is going through each of the flowering plants and pruning a little bit. I should have did it earlier before the bees came out, but I'm just going to have to be quick about it. Um, and then we are going to plant the strawberries. It's a carpenter bee right here. Um, sir, go away. Okay. And he in here. No, 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 no. Oh God, I wish y'all could see him. He's so rude. Get out, get out. Get out. Let me close the door on you. I know y'all can hear him. He's so rude. All right, I closed the door on him. I wish y'all could see. <laughs> you know what? If he come through this window, I'm gonna be mad. All right, so now that I have to run from him. Um, what we are going to do is uh, go through all of the flowering plants. I am going to prune them if he let me. That's why I, I normally try to get out real early in the morning before the bees um, are all over the flowers because then of course it's a problem. Um, but I'm going to do what I can. Some of the stuff I need to prune so that it can flower more and I have my towel with some alcohol on it so that I can clean my uh, little shear pruners in between um, each plant so I don't spread any diseases or anything like that. And then after that i am going to um i'm not planting the strawberries out but what i am doing is taking them from the container that my friend gave to me um i'm taking them out of her container putting them into my own container until my green stalk comes that i am going to use for the strawberries and then once that comes then i'll do a video of me planting inside that green stalk um which is going to go in here so right now we're just going to prune if you see me running from the bees it's because they're rude, especially those carpenter bees. They're so rude. And the temperature inside this greenhouse right now is 72 degrees. Um, I'll probably go ahead and keep the door open and the window open. Um, if I get around to it, I might not be able to do it until tomorrow. I want to prep my green stalks. Um, I might actually just do that tomorrow. I'm gonna prep my green stalks um the green ones that i'm putting my peppers and my flowers in so that these can finally have a home but i'm just prepping them because there's a lot of bugs in them there is a lot of who knows what so i'm gonna put some um diamostaceous earth uh diatomaceous earth and um mosquito bits that's what i'm putting in it and i'm gonna let it sit in that dry soil and we'll let it kill some stuff and then we'll take those roots out from the old plants from last year and then next weekend is when I'm going to plant these things into green stalks all right so let's get pruning oh Um, these bees are absolutely ridiculous. I am going to show you all of the different flowers and hopefully I don't get attacked. So 
these are Cosmos. This is my lavender and my um, creeping gin. These are Cosmos. Um, I can put the names up on here and where I got it from. I can't remember them all offhand. This one I know is called the Picati Cosmo and this I got from In My Gardener that I do remember. Oh, we got us a wasp. We don't play around with those. We like those to do what they're gonna do. So that's a Cosmo. This is Lavender and um, Creeping Jenny. This is a Cosmo and a Poppy. And I have a Poppy down on the other side too. And then these are my Agastaki. I wonder if I need to trim those. I can't remember how to prune these. These are called Scarlet Spires Salvium. Oh, let me pick that up. And they, they have more blooms coming. This is Bee Balm, and this is some more Salvia. Oh, I'm sorry. Agastache, Bee Balm, Salvia. These two can look alike a lot and you can get them confused. I'm going to put my tag back in here. This is why I love Agastache. And I don't know if it's called Agastache or Agastache, but I call it Agastache. All right, so now that all of the flowers are pruned um, so that they can bush out, I am over here with the cabbage, the bok choy, and the peas. The peas I have to check on, they are starting to create peas, and some of them need to be staked up a little bit better. For example, the storm blew it down, but I am about to just post it right back up. All right. And then these are, I believe these are the Kilimanjaro white um, marigolds. I have another one over here that is starting to open. storm that came through here, that windy storm. Oh, I still got peas coming up. See my little baby peas? I'm gonna help this one. Got some peas right here. Okay, so now is also a good time to like get in here and make sure we don't have any pests. That's just like some pollen. You want to make sure we don't have nothing trying to live on your food and take it from you. The peas look good. So I normally have a, um, a aphid problem pretty pretty early on but what we did was put some ant traps um, behind this bed so that they do not bring aphids over to this garden like they always do. That's a little spider. And I just like to make sure that we don't see any of them. I literally have not had a um, successful, oh, there's an aphid. So let me zoom in so you can see that. Now 
this one is the one that was broken in half and down on the ground. So they like to go for. Let's see if I can just get in close. They like to go for weak plants. Can you see him? Oh, he about to be dead. They like to go for weak plants, and this is the weak one because this one is the one that broke in half from the storm and um, was touching the dirt. So it happens. I am going to put a couple more clips on this to try to help this one to be upright a little bit better, and I'm gonna spray it with some BT. So if they do try to um, eat it, they will die. Here is my nasturtium. Shadow. The sun is hot in the sky right now. And that looks like a was an egg of some sort. And this is my pop choy. This is my first time ever growing this. Um, I need to harvest some of it. Oh, that is a little billy bee. Oh, you might be a little honey bee. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can't barely see it. Yep, so we got us a cluster of eggs right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna smush all of that. Smush it all. Knock it off. I did have my mic, but it was after crazy, so here we are. That. That means you have snails. And you really want to get up in there. You really want to get up in there and see. If anything, it's trying to live on you, on your food, because you want to kill it. All right. Look at this mat. I'm going to harvest some of this um, and dehydrate it over the next few days. This is some volunteer forage. And this is a salvia coming back. Let me bag up a little bit. So this is borage, 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 wheat. All right. So the plant that needs uh, help, that one there, I'm gonna stake it up a little bit better. And then I'm gonna spray it with some BT later on this evening. All right, y'all, so excuse me for the audio. It's very windy out here today, and my microphone is not working. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these strawberry plants that I have been gifted, and we are going to put them in these three containers, which are not the permanent containers. Um, but this container is um, was just the transportation container, and I'm going to give this back. So we're going to take it out of here, put it in here. We're going to give it a little bit of food until the permanent container comes, which is another green stalk.
All right, so I have two, four, seven, six. I have 13 plants. Go away a little bit. I put uh, the things that I showed you and I put a pump of this next to each plant. I'm about to water it in. not putting too much water because these containers do not have holes in the bottom. 